Welcome to this video. Ancestral DNA? Mitochondrial DNA L, or NTDNA L, is often touted as the ancestral DNA. The supposed first woman that carried this supposed ancestral DNA is by some called Mitochondrial Eve or African Eve. I insist to mention early on that the best proof of this mitochondrial DNA L, 1, being the DNA of the first woman and 2, being African, would have been to have found a fossil of this mitochondrial Eve, or at least of some early down the line descendant of this mitochondrial Eve presenting this mtDNA L. However, no such fossil was ever found. For now, 1 and 2 are only suppositions that are used together to support the hypothesis that Africans are the ancestors of all humans. In other words, there is no proof that the supposed ancestral DNA, 1, really represents that of the origin of all humans and, 2, that it originated in Africa. I understand this assumption that it, 1, is the ancestral DNA of all humans and, 2, that it originated in Africa. Very well, but without finding a fossil there is no proof. Even if the part of the mtDNA was proven this still would be surprisingly little proof considering all the important statements, which all revolve around this mtDNA L. Further there is this serious paradigm in disfavor of the hypothesis that Africans are the ancestors of all humans, the fact that Africans are the ones that carry the least Neanderthal DNA of all humans that the African DNA is supposed to have been the ancestor of. Further, surprisingly none of the ancestral markers confirms the above two suppositions supported by consensus. For reasons that I do not understand, consensus and the media do not seem to mention the ancestral markers that all, or most of them, point to the Americas and the Amerindians as the origin of all humans. Instead of seeing this lack of Neanderthal DNA as a paradigm, instead of recognizing we negated the most important scientific markers, consensus etc. has chosen to turn some of these paradigms into some kind of victory for humans, a kind of proof of superiority against other not well-defined groups of humans and animals. Such an approach is not a scientific approach at all. Such an approach could be seen by future generation as very poor criticism in science, and even as a kind of scientific bribing. If you all close your eyes for several clear paradigms, you can, go on to, call and declare yourselves the smartest and fittest of all. Us being the smartest or the fittest is not exactly what. 1. The increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, that we cannot get under control and not even know, to fully explain, and or. 2. The perfect storm, cognitive decline, autism, DNA degeneration, an expected wave of yet more epidemics, and many more, that has been increasing since 1990, teaches us. Furthermore and surprisingly, Fossils of this ancestral DNA, mtDNA L, are found in South America. This is quite paradigmatic, since according to consensus, which claims Amerindians descend from not Amerindians, they should not reappear in South America, certainly not in pre-Columbian fossils, after they disappear during the supposed out-of-Africa routes, also on their way to Beringia and the Americas, and even more so after the supposed substantial drifts, kind of evolution which supposedly took place in Beringia. As long as there are no finds in Africa of fossil DNA that corresponds to the period that fossil DNA is found in the Americas, this by me so-called reappearance is in fact the first appearance and consequently it would not be proven to be African, but it would be a, or rather yet another, strong argument of our ancestor to be American. This would be a real indication that the supposed ancestral DNA would have migrated from the Americas to Africa rather recently with the earliest proven date corresponding to the find of such first fossils with ancestral DNA. Neanderthals carried what is supposed to not yet exist. Even more surprisingly, recently this mtDNA L is found in certain Neanderthals that obviously are much older than African, mitochondrial Eve, and certainly much older than the hypothesized out of Africa. Although Neanderthals were present in Europe and Western Eurasia, genetically, haplotype, they are much more linked to the Americas, I prove this in other videos, and again fossil DNA of Neanderthals, and even fossil DNA of their sister group Denisovan, were found in South America, and clearly much less in Africa. Not so surprising, this for consensus inconvenient, but for all humans extremely important discovery did not, yet, got much attention from consensus and the media. Neanderthals were the ancestors of modern humans? This above discovery, of ancestral DNA carried by Neanderthals, could suggest that Neanderthals were the ancestors of modern humans. 
Probably the general public hardly remembers that this was in fact the initial hypothesis when the first Neanderthal fossils were found, some years before the most well-known publication of Charles Darwin. DNA and genetics were still unknown at that time. Later, genetics proved that modern humans cannot descend from Neanderthals, and I fully agree with this. In other words, the supposed ancestral DNA is older than the also supposed mitochondrial Eve. Why this does not discards the supposed ancestral DNA being ancestry DNA, it does discard the possibility that the supposed African mitochondrial Eve, which is supposed to be African, is the ancestor of all humans, women. Further, in other words, the supposed ancestral DNA strongly indicates the Americas as the origin of all humans, and confirms what the by consensus and media seemingly forgotten and neglected, essential, ancestral markers have been proving for a very long time. In other videos all this is explained in more detail, and more images and important quotes of researchers and much more relevant proofs of our origin were presented. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.